this is Cougar, and obviously this is a different beginning to the videos. Um, we're going to have to narrate over the normal videos just for the fact that we had some corrupted sound issues. Everything turned to static. Anyhow, hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and of course this is another episode of the TAC series. We've got another box in today, and as you can see, it's not very big. It's also not real heavy, and uh, so don't know what's inside, but let's go ahead and check it out. And here we go. Now there's a handful of items right here. These, uh, well, actually just two. This first one, of course, is this Ready Man uh, pocket survival stove. The other one there is the uh, OST Original OST 2.0. Uh, now, as they mention here, the uh, OST is uh, rated for a $25 suggested retail price, and the Ready Man pocket survival stove is suggested for $35. Now uh, let's go ahead and check these out. I'll go ahead and uh, grab this ready man because it seems uh, fairly easy to open uh, and it seems ready to go. Uh, now looking at it, uh, it is a Pocket Survival Stove XL. Uh, you have a handful of cards. There's actually six of them here. And uh, on the inside there you can see there are a bunch of different cutouts. Now uh, those cutouts do contain, uh, let's see, there are fishing hooks in there, there's arrowheads, there are uh, spinners and snare lock pieces and uh, little tiny hand saws and things like that. So uh, lots of different pieces in this um, that uh, you can pop out as needed uh, in, of course, an emergency survival type situation. Now, uh, just to mention, uh, looking here in the package, we didn't notice anything in terms of instructions as to how to put the stove part together. Uh, obviously we do know that uh, you do have to put these uh, six pieces together and uh, they look like these have these little clips here on the side I'm trying to figure out here and uh, not sure exactly what it is taking a look at the card here you can see the picture and the picture actually gives you a pretty good representation of what it looks like because it is a pretty clear picture it does show these tabs are uh, going to link together but there are these side pieces of course there's the saw piece that's right here that has like a double edge to it and then there is a straight piece on the other side that uh, that you need to um, kind of be either bend out of the way or take off completely before you can of course hook them together and as you can see this is just kind of the basic idea you put uh, you know three of them create like one half and then three create the other half and uh, six of them together create that uh, that round, semi-round or hexagonal shaped uh, camp stove there. Once you've got all the pieces together and you've got that uh, hexagonal configuration, of course that shape then gives it that uh, idea of being a stove, which you can then set a pot on top of or a large cup or something like that, I'm guessing probably something around a quart, and uh, you can uh, cook on it. And uh, you can do this even when you have uh, a handful of the pieces knocked out because it does contain uh, the structure itself will stay together uh, and um, you know even though you have all these little pieces popped out it doesn't break the actual overall frame of uh, the stove there so it will still keep that shape and you can continue using it even if you have to take out like an arrowhead or uh, the the little links to make the snares or the fishing hooks or anything like that so uh, definitely something that's, in, in a sense that way, it's definitely nice. And uh, it's, it uh, gives it that continued usability rather than uh, one time, one and done, basically. And, uh, you know, of course, that's not what you want. Now, the overall weight of this uh, is actually, according to the thing, it says that it is 5.25 ounces. So that's just under an ounce for each one of these cards. Now they are uh, relatively thick compared to other cards that I've seen, ones I've seen on Amazon. Um, I've seen them go for uh, more than $10 a piece. Uh, now of course they do have a little bit more on them because they're not built to create a stove with, um, but they do have a lot more uh, pieces that can be punched out and it can be broken down even more than these are. And. Uh, so there's something to consider there. Now, of course, you can find cheaper versions. Uh, I've seen them as low as $3, but I've also seen what kind of quality those are, and they are very thin. All right, now let's go ahead and open up this uh, OST. Now, it does say Original OST 2.0, 
and uh, it turns out that the OST stands for Operator Survival Tool. Uh, so uh, anyhow, as you can see, it's pretty small. It's uh, actually roughly about the size of a uh, chapstick tube. Uh, you can, of course, fit it in your hand, toss it in your pocket, or something like that. It's, uh, it, it's pretty easy to carry in that aspect. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if it had maybe like a little string on the end of it so you could maybe attach it to a set of keys or something like that. Now, uh, it does say that uh, as you screw off the ends here, there are the components inside. And uh, inside here, there is uh, three parts. One of these is a uh, ferro stick. One of them is a, uh, a uh, little uh, sharpening stick, a piece of ceramic, and then there is a little multi-tool. And of course, they all just slide right in there. There's uh, some uh, little shapes for them to fit in there very specifically. So they don't rattle around. They don't uh, damage each other or anything like that while they're uh, maybe floating around in your pocket or in your pack. Uh, now each one of these is roughly about uh, two inches long. Uh, the ferro stick, uh, and well, the ferro stick, the uh, the sharpening stick, and the little multi-tool that's in there. And uh, so you can take in uh, the ferro stick and the uh, sharpener. There can uh, go in the end of the unit there. Uh, you unscrew it a little bit and slide it in, and then the actual case turns into a handle and uh, so you know you slide it in tighten it up and are then able to hold the handle instead of having to hold the stick itself and you can go ahead and uh, you know start your fire with it or uh, sharpen your knife with it or anything like that now the little multi-tool has a few different things to it it has a, a bit driver a, a small pry tool to say carbon scraper and a bottle opener uh, it looks like there's a couple other things on it. I'm not sure exactly what you would use them for, but it doesn't look like those are the only things that are there. The edges on it are uh, somewhat sharp, so uh, you should be able to use them on the ferro stick to uh, start your fires. Uh, the only thing is, is as you can see here, I'm having a hard time getting it to do anything. Uh, I'm scraping the heck out of it, and it's not really working. So for some reason, that little stick doesn't actually work. Now, we did find out here later on, um, if you take and use like a real knife or uh, uh, I think one of the guys grabbed like a little piece of hacksaw blade or something like that and he scraped across it and uh, he got it to spark. So the ferro stick does work. Uh, it's just that the little multi-tool doesn't really work very well to use it. So hopefully if you have something like this, you have a, uh, a knife to use it on, but that really is a big hit against something like that. I mean it kind of turns it to garbage if that's the only thing you have on you and you're trying to start a fire because if you can't get a spark from the things that's supplied then it renders it pretty much useless uh, now all of all you have is something of a multi-tool and then that little knife sharpener uh, and and those don't do anything for you in a survival situation where you need fire to be able to boil water to cook food um, to keep warm, to ward off uh, predators, anything like that. Um, you know, of course, fire is one of those top top tier kind of things that uh, that you definitely kind of need to have when you get into a survival situation. My name is Cougar. This, of course, has been another episode of the Tax Series here on World of Me. If you guys uh, like this, I'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And uh, when you hit that thumbs up button, right over there is going to be that subscribe button. There'll be a little icon floating around or that subscribe down below. Hit those and uh, then hit that bell notification icon uh, so you know when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. And uh, if you go down a little further, you guys can, of course, leave comments. Let me know what you think of these things. Have you guys used this stuff before? Uh, do you think they're worth the price that they're suggesting, you know, the $25 and $35? Uh, and then, of course, while you're down in that area, we do have our social media links down there, as well as we will have the link to uh, the uh, Crate, Club, Crate Club site. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to, of course... Uh, if you want to take the chance and order boxes, you can, of course, do that and uh, check it out. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.